Hey everybody, it's the Burger Dude, and today I wanna to show you how I make tiny tacos, just like Jack in the Box, but vegan and way better. And the first thing we're gonna do is throw together the avocado lime sauce, and this stuff is super good. You can use this on just about anything you want. So we're gonna start off with some avocados naturally, and then got about five cloves of garlic, and then a whole jalapeno, and depending on how spicy you like it, leave as many seeds in there as you like. I left in, you know, you saw how much I left in. It was pretty spicy. I also got some vegan sour cream. I'm using the Kite Hill brand, which I do like. Followed by some cilantro. If cilantro tastes like soap to you, then go ahead and leave it out, but it doesn't taste like soap to me. I, I like it just fine. And the next up is some freshly squeezed lime juice, followed by some brine from a pickled jalapeno jar which is going to add some spice and some funk and then next up is some nutritional yeast as dictated by vegan law followed by some garlic salt and go ahead and adjust the seasonings to your taste salt and pepper and whatnot and uh, like I said before this sauce is super good it's uh, you're gonna have leftovers more, more than likely you're gonna have leftovers but you're not gonna be mad about it I promise because it's super good. You can literally put this on, you know, tacos, burritos, breakfast sandwiches, tofu scrambles, whatever you want. It literally can go on anything. Once you're done with it, go ahead and set it aside in the refrigerator. And we're gonna make our taco sauce. We're gonna start off with some beefless broth. And if you can't find that particular broth, you can use veggie broth or whatever you like. Uh, next up is some Worcestershire sauce. And just make sure that it's vegan. Sometimes they got fishies in them, which we don't want. And then also some diced chipotles and adobo. I love this stuff. I put it in just about anything that I can. It's super handy when it's in that jar all diced up already. Then next up is tomato paste, followed by some smoked paprika, and then some cumin or cumin, chili powder, of course. We gotta put that in there. And this is optional, minced onion. You could also use fresh onion if you like. And then next up, we're gonna put in some nooch because like I said, vegan law dictates it. And by the way, that's what it looks like, nutritional yeast, AKA nooch. Next up, we're gonna throw in the rest of my garlic powder. It's about a tablespoon, I think. And then we got some masa harina, which is golden corn flour. And this is gonna help thicken up the sauce as well as add a little bit of a corny type of flavor. I know that might sound weird, but it's really, really good. And it's subtle, but it makes itself known. Up next, we're gonna brown our plant-based meat. Use whatever meat you like. I'm obviously using Impossible. But you know, Beyond, Light Life, whatever you like, they'll all work great. And all we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and just crumble up our plant-based meat and brown it, get it nice and cooked through. And once we've got it nice and browned, the next step is to add that taco sauce that we made earlier. And then all we need to do from here is go ahead and stir it up, combine it. And we're just gonna cook this over medium heat and reduce it down. And give it a taste every now and then. And you're gonna wanna eat all of it, but just exhibit some patience because it's gonna be better than the tacos. And once it's reduced down to that kind of consistency, go ahead and add it to a bowl and refrigerate it so that it firms up. In the meantime, we're gonna get our tortillas together. So I've got these street tacos, which are pretty small already, but I'm gonna make them even smaller with a cookie cutter. And you can bypass this and just use you know, the regular tortilla make bigger tiny tacos or you can cut them. You could use the excess tortillas for chilaquiles or whatever you like, tortilla soup. And once you got all your tortillas cut up, go ahead and heat them up in a skillet with a little bit of oil. You could also heat them up in the microwave or an oven, whatever you like. This is just the way that I like to heat them up. And once you got all your tortillas heated up, we're gonna go ahead and assemble with a little bit of the meat, which should be cooled by now and should be nice and stiff. And you're gonna just wanna basically fold it carefully and get the tortilla to stick to the meat. And if a little bit of the meat sneaks out like that, don't even sweat it because it's gonna get fried and crispy and delicious. In fact, I highly recommend letting a little bit sneak out. And once you got all your tacos assembled, go ahead and add them to a wire rack and then put them in the freezer so that they get nice and firmed up and then after they've been in there for about 20 minutes, we're gonna heat up some oil and we're gonna fry them. And this is about it. You just gotta fry them, keep an eye on them, flip them. Once they get golden brown, go ahead and remove them from the pan, let them rest on a rack, and then go ahead and plate up with your avocado lime sauce and it's party time now, you know? So go ahead and give that guy a dip 
And if you're by yourself, go ahead and do a double dip. But either way, I hope you make this recipe. As you can see, these tiny tacos are just as delicious as they are adorable.